So my name is Chad Kresser with Lenovo. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about um, a VR headset um, that we brought to CES 2017. The, this headset is, um, we're working in collaboration with Microsoft. And as I said before, uh, VR is, is a very like, exciting category. That you can do a lot of cool things with it, uh, a lot of fun games and applications. Uh, however, there are some shortcomings. And with this product, what we want to do is solve some of those, those problems. And we think there are three main areas that we can, uh, we can go off and solve and improve the VR experience for our customers. The first is around content. Uh, so Microsoft is working to roll out a variety of content, not just gaming, but um, basic applications, uh, as well as some select content from their HoloLens library. Um, so we're looking at content beyond gaming, you know, things that are unique applications uh, for the other 90%. The second is around uh, setup and ergonomics. So we have an HTC Vive here, uh, which is a nice product, but one of the problems is that you have to have these little boxes, these lighthouses, that you have to, to mount either on a tripod or on a table in a very specific way. Um, that can limit where you can set this thing up. And so what we have here is instead of using those uh, lighthouses, we have two cameras that are embedded inside the headset, which allow for room scale tracking. Uh, Additionally, uh, for ergonomics, this product is uh, around 350 grams, so if you feel uh, the difference in weight, it's significantly lighter, which makes it a lot easier to uh, stay, on, stay in VR longer, because it doesn't have that same strain on your head. And um, also from a design standpoint, we have a nice hinge here, uh, which allows you to move the display up and down, so it's easy to go in and out of a VR environment, as well as make adjustments if you uh, wear glasses, for example. And then the last piece on the ergonomics is the back of the strap has a nice little simple dial uh, to adjust the, the size of the band. So as, as I said before, we have content, which is going to be much more diverse um, for more mainstream users. The uh, ergonomics and setups is going to be a lot easier and simple. And then the last piece is around, around price. So the HMDs that they're selling today range from 500 and up. Uh, our target, we haven't... Um, confirmed exactly what the price point will be, but it will be somewhere below $400.